If you've got any kind of outside space, you can really maximise its potential with flowers. Pots of different shapes and sizes or hanging baskets all crammed with an array of beautiful flowers will transform your patio, doorway, window ledges or the smallest of gardens. What I'm about to show you is a simple and easy guide to planting beautiful hanging baskets and containers. I'm going to plant up a beautiful summer display for this container here. The most important thing is that you've got a drainage hole. And here we are, this is a drainage hole in the, in the bottom, just here. Um, and that will just prevent the plant just from sitting in water because um, the plant will need watering every single day during the summer. The best time to plant these is late spring going into summer. Uh, and ideally, um, they should keep flowering all the way through into, into autumn. You can use crocs, polystyrene, anything, but I just want to place it over the drainage hole like that. And that will just allow the water just to, just to drain out when, when it gets watered. If you live in a frost prone area, it can really damage your roots. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some of this bubble wrap just around the, the insides here, just to give it a bit of protection from those late spring frosts. It's going to use some of this good quality compost and just put it into the bottom here. And then the centre piece for this display is this lovely osteospernum with its wonderful daisy like flowers. Now this, this is just going to go right in the middle, like that, just in the centre. And now I've got two Heliochrysums here, lovely trailing habit wonderful evergreen foliage uh, and it's always a good idea to to vary between flowers and foliage when you're doing a, um, a floral display such as this one so I'm just going to put that one on here on this side okay and now I'm just going to take these verbenas just squeeze this one in over here so that's all the plants in firm the plants in with your fingertips you want to just have the soil so it's just a few you know, two or three centimetres just below the top of the container. One more thing to do, and that's just give it a drop of water. And there we go. When putting the containers into place, remember to use small blocks underneath to help drainage. What you need for a hanging basket is you need a, a hanging basket frame. They're usually made of a lightweight material. This one uh, I pre-bought with this natural material lining in here already um, and what I've done is I'm going to be planting a few in the side as well so I've just cut some holes in the side here just so that I can squeeze some plants in the side and then I'm going to have some on the top as well don't need any crocs or create any holes in this material just using this good quality compost just placing some in the bottom here grab a few handfuls there we go I'm just putting the compost up to the where the, uh, the first few plants are going to be put into the sides. I've gone for this beautiful, this beautiful Nepeta, um, which has got a lovely, lovely trailing habit, lovely foliage as well. So um, this will look uh, stunning. I'm going to squeeze it through the lining this way. Push it through. There we go. So that it's about. That's about right, just in there. And this is just gonna trail down. The, the thing about hanging baskets is you want lots of trailing plants in there because the plant's up high. So you wanna make sure you've got lots of trailing plants to come down. It's gonna pack that one in with a bit of compost just to hold it in place. There you go. Second one. It's easier just to take it around this way rather than through the back. It should just be easily just squeeze in. Just being careful not to damage the plant. So now I'm just going to plant up, I've got three geraniums to plant in here and they've got a wonderful trailing habit. So these things, once they're, once they're put into the top here, they're going to have this lovely, lovely sort of cascading uh, down below. One, second one going in, one, two, Three. And then just to complement them, I've just got these lovely verbenas in here. And then just top up with compost, firming in with your fingertips. Firming all around the plants. 
and you want the layer of compost to be just below the top of the, the basket. You don't want to pack it right up to the top because otherwise every time you water it, the water is just going to gush out over the sides and it's not actually going to go down into the plant. And there you go. One hanging basket ready to hang next to your patio or your front door. One final thing remains to be done and that's just give it a good water. And then you just need to make sure that you keep it out of full sun just for the first week and then you can put it, hang it up uh, anywhere you want and just make sure that it's in a sunny spot. Before hanging, it's important to remember that once watered, baskets are very heavy, so make sure all your fixings are very secure. Watching containers and baskets come to life is really wonderful. Obviously, they will take a few weeks to take shape and reach their full potential. But take a look at these beautiful displays. Use a mass of one variety for impact, such as this white petunia, or this display uses a variety of clashing colours, such as reds and pinks. Planting your containers and baskets is only the start of the process, but looking after them is straightforward and enjoyable. Make sure you water frequently, particularly in spells of hot and dry weather. Giving your plants a weekly feed will keep them healthy and flowering longer. Also snip off dead flowers regularly to promote new growth. Creating and maintaining a wonderful container or hanging basket really is very easy and will give you a lot of pleasure, so why not give it a go? For more tips on how to look after your plants, download the leaflet from our website. And remember, you can always ask in your local garden centre for advice. You can find ones near you on our site.